Apparently, Tupac and Suge Knight were beefing over money before he passed. At least that's what Tupac's video director, Gobi Rahimi, says. In his interview with the Art of Dialogue, Gobi speaks about the time Pac was furious with Suge Knight over spending over $700,000 on a video without him knowing. He went on to explain that Pac was also unhappy with the label over money issues as well. Here's what Gobi had to say. A lot of people have said they were like brothers or whatever. I only, I only got to see the experiences of him yelling and screaming either at Suge or death row employees trying to find out where his money was. Pac was supporting like 40 people. Pac's family was not small, right? He was supporting a lot of motherfuckers. Because at one point, I remember hearing that Tupac's $700,000 check for acting in gridlock had also gone to Suge. And Pac was on the phone yelling and screaming about, why the fuck's my movie money coming to you? Friendships and brotherhoods and all that's great. But if your business and your money's not good, come on, bro, you got to feed your family. We know posthumously that all those things that Tupac thought he owned, he didn't own any of it. And there were there was real estate bought in his name in Miami. Everything he had, the house in Calabasas, the house on Wilshire, one Wilshire, those were all rentals. He thought he owned all that. Yeah, man, real talk, man. And you seen Tupac with your own eyes having arguments with Suge about his money. 100%. Suge, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pac was weekly on the phone chasing his money with death row or with Suge. I definitely believe that the relationship between Tupac and Suge Knight was rocky at the end. The arrest of Keefe D is definitely shining spotlight on that as well. Click the video on the screen right now to hear why Suge Knight refuses to testify against Keefe D. Also, subscribe to help the channel out. Peace.